Hello humans! So for those of you who are expecting a step-by-step -step narration of here's what I am doing in this video, look at my eyeshadow, wow, I'm probably not really even going to be doing much of that, but more of just talking over my inspiration for this look and just life, because that is what's on my mind right now, so that's what I feel like doing. Uh, I wanted to do a look inspired by the Hayao Miyazaki film Spirited Away, not just because it's visually beautiful, but also because his films always seem to have more meaning the more you look into them, and I freaking love that. The first time that I watched Spirited Away, I thought that it was very random and weird. Uh, I hadn't really watched, I think I haven't watched any anime at that point, and I was very used to movies with very predictable storylines. Uh, so the very first time I watched it, I remember I saw um, Chihiro's parents turn into pigs, and I got very confused, and I, that was the first moment I was like, mm, this is weird, I'm not going to take this seriously, but it's not that this has a predictable storyline or even really any full storyline at all, but it's more of just a sequence. Um, it's a sequence of her trying to help people, it is a sequence based on identity, on consumption. I recently watched a, a video by a YouTuber called Is This Just Fantasy? And they basically described their interpretation of pretty much that, how the theme is reoccurring and more episodic than it is just a full this is one story, but actually just a recurring theme of multiple. It's very similar, and also very weird. Um, the link, also the link will be in the description for that video because I actually really liked it and it got me thinking, and I like that. Um, <laughs> Chihiro's parents, like I said, right away they get greedy and they consume a ton of food that's not even meant for humans, and then they get turned into pigs. And Chihiro spends almost the entire movie helping other people regain their identity, while she slowly starts fading into the spirit world. So she kind of starts to lose hers in a way. Uh, Yababa the witch, she takes away part of her name, kind of to get rid of her identity. And I think that's almost a way to control her. Her name means... I forget exactly, but... It has something to do with many searching, so always searching again and again searching. And I feel like that really fits the theme really well, actually. But pretty much all of these other people she tries to help. There's No Face, Haku, her parents, the river spirit, and it's as if most of the main characters in the film um, it happens when they expel literal drunken pollution, they come to find their true identities. Like, the river spirit was probably the biggest part in that, because in the bathhouse, um, she tries to take all this junk out, and at first they think, wow, this guy is disgusting, right? And then decades and possibly centuries of all of this junk come out of the river spirit, and then all of a sudden, it's this magic, beautiful new being. It's almost as if it's symbolism for becoming a new, for being recreated, reinventing yourself, all of that. And that's not even the only character that does it, too. No Face always is trying to consume other people's identities. Like, when he eats people, he kind of takes on their characteristics. It's as if you're consuming other people's ideas and taking on their characteristics. Uh, when really, if you get rid of that, and I'm not saying get rid of all of other people's ideas, I'm saying more it's very good and important to be your own person, to experience your own thoughts, to really get into that. And I feel like that will be the huge difference between you being like no face living other people's identities rather than you know actually being your own and i thought that was really cool 
So for those of you who actually want to hear what I am doing, right now I am painting the bridge to the spirit world and the real world, the bridge between the bathhouse and then the actual rest of the world. And underneath that, and I guess sort of above it, I wanted to paint that ocean when Chihiro and No Face are in the train in their transitional period. It's very similar to leaving your old self and then coming into your new self. Um, was that space? And I know this sounds very like, ooh, new agey. Not new agey, but, you know, very thought provoking. I guess I'm just in that state of mind right now. But that is also a big theme of the entire movie is transitioning into something new, and that's a big theme of life, too. And how, if you don't even think about it, you might miss it and just think it's some weird movie, or it's just some weird random coincidences or sequence of events in your life. And for this makeup look specifically, I have the bridge, I have the water, and now I'm making these little spider guys from the little neck piece thing, I guess you could call it. You could call it the neck piece thing. And these spiders really helped Chihiro um, when she didn't feel like she could do it. And that's also another important thing, is having people that'll help you. And then obviously the markings on my face are the no face, you know, his general supposedly face, his mask. And I know this was a lot of talking, and I apologize for those who weren't interested in it. But if you are interested in what I had to say or have something else to say, please comment down below. I would love to hear it, actually. And as always, have a great day.